about the matchup when it comes to the veto and the amount of head to heads. I think the put it put it really well in terms of Maui talking about the utility phase look a little lost at times behind the meta perhaps and the Anubis utility, whereas Ents look very, very solid right now. So got to give Ents a great chance of picking this first map up. Yeah, at the, I mean, at the major, I watched Ents absolutely work this map to perfection. This yeah. has been like a really fun map to watch. Snappy kind of wheel between the bomb sites, uses canals to great effect to apply some pressure on one side and hit the other. And FaZe, uh, you also got to, to see them in that Na'Vi decider game on this map as well, being able to pull that big comeback. So yeah, like a nice double overtime, I believe that yeah, was. Yeah, Brokey had an insane game there. So let's hope for some of the same as Twist starts to kick off this fight in middle. Sees a couple more players than he really wants to fight. So he'll do a few shots of damage and then run back. And Ents are not stopping. They want to commit through mid here. Yeah, nice smoke to drop down towards the beacon. Allows them to turn in towards the right, towards the A bomb site. It's Brokey and Twist to defend. Flashbang takes Twist off the angle. Here comes that hit. Snappy a distraction and actually getting an entry as well. Oh, the Duelies almost able to connect a third. They give Kerrigan the opportunity. And Rain is here with some quickness. Absolutely spectacular from FaZe, and they've shut down the hit. Yeah, just some pious left. Maybe he has a clutch up his sleeve here. Top performer so far with that one map of play. Maui's drawn the conclusion. Will it be the 1v2 clutch, though? So Pius, so low on health. No chances given over. And Rops and Rain just staying disciplined in this. Not wanting to give him even a shot at this. And uh, it looks very good for it. Phase to close it out. Rain will do so. Boom. And that's a good pistol to find. Those duelies lived just a little bit too long for yeah, too long. <laughs> yeah, like that kill took so long to come in. The reinforcements arrive just perfectly, and FaZe is able to stop that hit before it gets too out of control, leaving some Pius in a really rough one. Look how long this lasts, even on almost a chance on the third one. And by the time some Pius gets the kill and responds on Kerrigan, Rain's already here and already doing damage. One to nothing for FaZe, yeah. A little hand up in the air like... Ooh, oh, that, that's a, oh. That's, that's a, maybe he has a sore neck. That's a bad Listerine FaZe. <laughs> that looks like an actual injury <laughs> rather than uh, anything that happened in the game. And a decent enough force back from Ents. They got the Tech Nines, they got the Scout, and Twist trying to fight in middle. It's maybe taking too much damage for his own liking. I feel like uh, FaZe and Twist actually really like that battle from, from the bridge. There's a nice headshot over the top. Oh. Rop's going to swing into action, or jump into action, whichever way you want to do it. Nice job from Snappy, but there's no chance really for Ents to get back and take advantage of that kill on the B-bomb site. Yeah, another thing the the phase like to do is get aggressive in towards the, the A water around the canals and the boat and the bridge. It's, I think that was kind of an early Anubis meta, and phase still love it. And we'll see if Snappy on this B site can cause a few issues. Carrigan and Twists have gathered up with a double for mass setup. Look at the damage from the scout, though. There's actually yeah, some easy true. cleanup kills. Oh, Twists goes down. Carrigan falls next. Snappy's done it all. Well done, Snappy. Quick two kills. Brokey's made his rotation over. He's the player with health. Rops is low and on an MP9, and so Brokey has to do all of the heavy lifting. He's picked up Snappy. Nerds the scout off the bomb plant and repositions around the other side of the obelisk. Get that bomb planted on default out from main side. Where some pies can play this post plant. Nerds will slip away towards the jail. Brokey swings. The M4 connects, and now it is all on some pies. Time ticking on that bomb, and he is blinded, but slips away. No utility left. No you tell, and that is an issue, but there's still the player advantage. Some Pius impales Brokey, pulls out the clock, and he will remove Rops as well. One to one, and bite back with the force. At the end of the day, Snappy does all the work. This kill onto Rain picks up the M4. Twist is already low. Kerrigan doesn't have a lot of HP and sets this up perfectly. So Sun Pius with a 1v2 and a couple of assists throughout delivers another good round for Ents. A great talking point uh, about Ents maybe giving some excuses in the interviews. Janko was expressing frustration about it where, you know, you're coming in, you, you've got to find a way to fire yourself up as a player. And when we're here at Ents, getting loud at least to celebrating that round victory. And Nertz, well, he's absolutely destroyed his own in-game leader, but he'll continue because he's on an absolute tear of bloodlust from Nertz as they make their way through the B site. Ents have this one. Yeah, they do. Good entries from Nertz. Even a team kill mixed in there for good measure. Two to one. Ents go up here on Anubis in the early stages. Rop's looking for a parting gift of some kind with his SMG, hoping somebody's going to walk right into his crosshair. Madden's not going to check this at all. 
Um, uh, a, big, a big problem for FaZe at the Major was the fact that they kept going behind early in these games, right? They kept having to come back into them. That's why Maui was kept going with this narrative yeah. of the great procrastinators because they, they always fell behind. They always waited the last minute to come back into these games. And it was it was one of their, like, good virtues as well as, like, they were the team. Remember, when they started off on their run, you know, last yeah, exactly, year, it was the right. team that bends but doesn't break. And they even showed that quality at the Major. The problem is if you're tested that frequent, frequently, Every once in a while, you're gonna break. Like, it's just, it's impossible to avoid it. Too much bending. Too much bending. But, uh, Nerds is, is good to have him here. Out on uh, American soil. Wasn't there last year, obviously. Very new addition to this end side. And one addition he has been. We'll see how he fares. It was Snacks today. last year playing with Ants, Yeah, correct? it was Snacks, yeah, because he did have Spinks, because Spinks is going hold through that whole sure. vitality process, wasn't he, so. I miss Snacks. Yeah, I was surprised he didn't. No one picked him up after that. It was a good run. Grand final. Grand final. I mean, Forrest didn't make it to grand final. He didn't make it to day two. Snack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one hurts me. <laughs> Snack hey. ran it back. And so did Snappy through dark. Should be nice and easy. Four players are going to be here for phase, but three of them have USPs. Three of them are without armor. Plenty of advantages for Snappy and Ents to work with. Dark control, and this gives a great angle for the fight. Easy and an even easier transfer over. Three kills, three frags of bonus money for Snappy. He's rich. Very, very wealthy. And so were Ents in terms of head-to-heads versus phase two. I think Snappy was touching on how he likes this matchup against phase. He, he likes how frequently they played over the last few years. and. Maybe some of the changes that you'll you'll come in. Banks is asking, you know, do they do they have any mind games? He said, not any crazy mind games, but there's certainly a few changes here and there. You try and fake out the veto a little bit. The veto is where mainly the the heads the heads really do shake up. Probably really enjoys this kind of diminished phase clan that's not hitting the oh, peak yeah. as well. Yeah, that definitely helps. Got the better of them out at that major, two to one. Going to be a little uh, tech pause in the action as uh, something gets sorted. Looks like Snappy. Everyone's staring at his keyboard. Look at some pies. He's like, I don't know what's going on. I was talking to d actually. He was expressing sure. his frustration about his team's uh, inability to understand computers. He's the PC guy <laughs> on the team. Is he really? Yeah, he's the PC guy on the team. He knows everything. He wouldn't even tell me any sort of tweaks and fixes he has. He apparently has a few things up his sleeve, some optimizations. Well, Yango never stops talking about how Sampaius is, uh, is uh, educated as an engineer. Really? Um, okay. That's so cool. I would have assumed that he would have had some technical aptitude. No, he didn't seem too keen, but uh, Deha definitely said that no one on his team is, is up to par when it comes to, to understanding the PCs. I don't understand anything about PCs. I know how to set my computer up to play Counter-Strike. <laughs> that's all that matters. And that's all I've got. Well, I mean, that's that's pretty much the, the quintessential CS Pro right there. You got that in common. 3-1, though. The tech issue resolved because we have got lots of people around here that know how to work a PC. Yeah, Deha, quite quick, has already crossed that bridge over towards the boat, but Carrigan, he's chasing. He wants him behind. And I like this bit of aggression thrown into the mix, trying to catch them as they drop from rugs. He does damage, but he doesn't get the kill. But he's sticking around. Oh, yeah, he's found an odd timing, and oh, yeah, just never backed away. I thought maybe Twist was going to push up in middle to kind of peek with him and have a double peek in the verticality, but the smoke had just faded. So, yeah, that risky play from Carrigan seems a bit silly all of a sudden. Yeah, hard to get away from that once you're committed in. Really just got to hope you can catch that one pick. Rain trying to make up for it, and he does from dark. He gets that one pick back on Snappy. And Ents are just trying to collect themselves because FaZe have thrown something crazy at them right from the get-go. But I think they can settle now. They can go get that bomb back. And yeah. They're nice, in a comfortable position. Nice equalizing kill found by Rain. The problem now for FaZe is they don't have any more utility. Well, they have two flashbangs. They don't have any smokes to block off choke points. They, I mean, you can see Rain as well. There's a stack towards the A bomb site, so Rain's got to be really passive. Bomb is working its way back in the hands of Sun Pius through T spawn. So Rain's going to be the one with the pressure. But they don't really have the tools to kind of make any of sort of effective rotation. Brokey's shifting with this M4, but he's going to come into a bomb site that's already been overrun. Oh, and yeah, he gets overrun. He gets flattened by Madden. And that's going to be a fourth round for Ents, and I do worry for FaZe on this map. I don't know how competitive they're going to be against Ents. The last time they played in that decider game, it was a, a comfortable 16-8 victory for Ents on this map. And Ents have, have tried to really raise the level of their performances on this. They've, they've made Anubis a comfortable affair for them. One of the better teams you've got in the world on it. FaZe have, have clearly shown some struggles, so... 
Yeah. I, I like that you brought up Deha earlier, even if just talking about him as a PC guy, but that's another name on this team that kind of goes under mentioned. I actually, I love Deha's yeah. game. He's great. He's, uh, I love how, uh, I especially love it on, on Nuke because I just love how persistently aggressive he is. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's just like an impact machine, right? Like he knows like how to, he, his plays like always seem to attack like the weak point in a defense. And he's one of those guys that can just change the nature of a round. Really cool to watch when he's uh, when he's in his groove, but obviously overshadowed by the Sun Piuses, the Nerds, and obviously Snappy as an in-game leader get most of the attention on this yeah. dance roster. But I mean, Deha and even Madden are very, very good supplemental pieces to this team. I think originally when this sort of international project came to be with Snappy pulling all these different pieces, I think Deha was given a lot more room, and I think at the start he was very exciting coming in from Sprout into this team. But yeah, as as Ant started to show that. Maybe the international way is going to be the way forward. See, now it's rain looking at his PC like, what the hell is wrong with this thing? <laughs> Headphones. <laughs> he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a boomer now. He's, what even is this box? Yeah, he's a boomer now. He's got the kid and everything. True. <laughs> so the reasons why pro matches get bosses is his, uh, his headphone cable is stuck under the wheel of his chair. <laughs> that we've, sucks. We've all been there. We have been. We've all been there. Wrapped it up. You roll back to try and get it. You make it worse. Wheels suck on chairs. <laughs> Better than wheelless. Nah, fixed position. <laughs> Get out. Get the standing desks, Jason. You don't have to sit anywhere. Here we go. Four to one. Back in action. The cable has been removed from the wheel trajectory. And that is the most important storyline heading into round six. Faze have the two save weapons, the two save rifles. But Brokey has the deek, and he's kissing in the smoke. He doesn't realize, and now he's seen a bit. Oh my goodness, it's not clean, and Brokey nearly recovers for two, but he'll take it, the one kill that he's able to pick up, and Deha trades it out. Yeah, now Deha gets to investigate in middle, spots two at least. What's the call from Snappy? They're already knocking on the door of the B bomb site. FaZe is going for this one. FaZe is going for this one for sure. Kerrigan holding off his push in. The Molotov gonna keep him at bay a little bit longer. The bomb is dropped, though. The bomb is far away, so they have this site. They can't plant, and it's all going to be down to kills, and this is allowing Snappy to activate and rotate around, but with the death of Nurt, Snappy's position is not nearly as strong as he would have liked. And Rops, of Whoa. course, is on top of it. Yeah, Rops is going to make quick work of that, and that's a ridiculous round to win, considering what FaZe brought to the table, Jason. They had two save rifles, and the rest were pistols. The rest were pistols. And then the rest was history. Also, it was great hearing uh, Senpai's bully Snappy about his haircut. That's why he's got a fresh trim. Really? Yeah, he told him he was ugly with it, the other haircut. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all our own worst critics. <laughs> Senpai's is just Snappy's worst critic. Good nade going deep in towards stairs, and he has taken a lot of damage on board there. There's something and funny another one. about a just a good-looking Spanish man being like, you are ugly. <laughs> yeah, every morning, I wake up and you make me feel <laughs> sick. Like, that was, haircut makes I think that was actually stupid. a quote. <laughs> <laughs> you, I woke up every morning, you made me feel sick. That actually is, has put me in a good mood. <laughs> it's so great. You give him an 8 out of 10 with the new fresh trim and a 4 out of 10 without. So. Damn. Yeah. That's a harsh rating That scale. is real harsh. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that Snappy's willing to do anything to keep, uh, to keep his team on board and on side. Even change his physical appearance. As we watch some pies nearly get removed from the some round. Some pies don't listen to no ugly in game leader. <laughs> Step your game up, Snappy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And uh, I, actually, some pies is a style icon. He's run the, the Birkenstock, so I went and bought them as well. And I, okay, so you've gone to like his pro settings page and yeah. copied the Birkenstock. Yeah, I feel like that is the key to making some pies how good he is. Ooh. Oh, great nades. And this is a key, this is a perfect round to display what Maui was talking about. Ents have great utility on this map, and they completely obliterate the phase initial setup. Rops taken away. Brokey oh. able to take a pick back on Madden, but Nurts is patient. And the smoke will cover off that cross from Temple. Twist getting aggressive. Kerrigan's found Nurts over in middle. Are you aware of Diha? Can you react fast enough? No. Good swing from Diha, but uh, look, they know the op is here. They know the op's in position, and Brokey's not going to get fooled by the little jiggle. So Sun Pius to save his AWP as best he can. He's going to be challenged. Kerrigan's here in middle as well. The player that barely stood over the first few seconds of this round, and he will just about keep his life the entire time. 
No scope on Carrigan. Through the doors. And the Fays have won some crazy rounds here, actually. Unlikely rounds to pick up, and they've been able to, to find a way to victory. 4-3. to three. They need to build up a good CT side here. I don't think they're going to be able to get it done with the majority of T rounds needed. Man, that's brutal. A little bit of spam. Molotov at your feet. Nade comes in. The whole kitchen sink thrown at him. I don't think Nerds expected that kind of a gap in it the It all smoke. just kind of came out of nowhere, didn't it? Yeah, it, it just appeared. Orbital strike straight on your position. That was a cheeky little eyebrow raise. Good chip damage on the ROPS. Molotov and smoke combo to keep Snappy at bay. And Entz was really lining up for a hit if Snappy found any kind of success. Oh, and actually he goes through it anyways, and now they might pull the trigger. Kerrigan's out in the open. There's the peak. He's got no smoke covering him. It comes in just way too late, and Brokey, you got everything to do. He throws the nade into dark. And he's now got the pick as well as he tries to fall away. He is allowed to do so. He gets the, to the back of the platform. He's got lots of help now. He's got a support network of rifles around him. Yeah, but I'm, I wonder. There was one M4 that shot out. Diha hasn't started investigating A. In fact, he hasn't even started moving in towards A main. That felt like maybe there was an opportunity if they could have run it. But, but they are not, still going back. Yeah, just not taking the risk early to get a jump on things. However, still, with two kills, this defense is going to be thinned out. Brokey at mid, Twist passive at B, and Rops extremely passive at A. Yeah, it seems like Rops is worried that they actually have pushed into A already, yeah. but both teams being pretty patient, and Rops is now going to get there before they make their way into this A side. 35 seconds, Rops comes in towards Heaven's side, and here comes this Execute from Ents. The utility lands in, Rops doesn't really have a position to stand. He has nowhere to stand right now. He's smoked out from Heaven, mollied away from Bricks, so great Execute here for Ents that's going to allow them into the site and get this bomb down. What can you do with it? Rops brought down very low. Brokey's very low. Not a whole lot of utility, not a whole lot of HP, and FaZe is making the call to back off and save. Brokey might be able to get a parting gift, and indeed he will. Nerds crouches right into it on the hunt, and FaZe is going to completely back away. So 5-3. to three. But this is what we touched on with Ents, how they've looked on this map, is their ability to work both bomb sites and shift between them. It's really, really good calling from Snappy. And even without the jump of... D has lurked in towards A main. Still just a solid executor in a four on three. Yeah, once they got that bomb down with the player advantage, it was really unlikely for FaZe to even, to even go for it. So, it's great work for Mans. Five rounds on T side. Already collected, and obviously going to be looking for a lot more. It's still going to be a strong buy from FaZe in this round. Rops can drop an M4 over to Kerrigan. Rain can have a weapon dropped if he wants it. So full buy for FaZe in this next round as well. Not out of the fight just yet. It is a pleasure to watch a good Anubis game today, Jason. Uh, <laughs> Still throwing shade into the past, huh? <laughs> I have to, man. It's just, I just have to. It's what a, what a flip. I like the BX is. simulator. That was good. That was good. We did, we did. It was like a scrim where they're just practicing the executes. Now we're seeing a bit more of the A side of the map. Nobody home for that nade. And Ants might just execute A again. That works so well. In the late round last time, why don't we just try it right from the get-go here? It's just Rops here, so this could work really well. Once again, Rops playing passive, gets smoked out, gets mollied away from Bricks. Doesn't really find himself in a position to try and sort of delay this or disrupt this attack in, so Twist has to run in and do that instead. And he's done a pretty decent job at finding one, but there's only one kill. Rops and Twist both down, and now Faze in a disadvantaged position. Once again, Ants in a comfortable post plan. I love how just fearless Madden is about coming through that smoke. Him yeah. and Dia just pressing forward, making space for the rest of the boys coming behind. And yeah, FaZe has to call for another save. They do have a kit. Kerrigan has the utility, and he was on a flank, but not enough production by Rops and Twist to make this worthwhile. So they'll let Ants extend up to six. I think Rops has to sort of change how, how he's approaching the defense here. Obviously, with the lean over towards B, he's playing a bit more passive, but if, that's, there's two rounds now where he's just been kind of locked out of even contesting for it. Yeah, this, this one I think is just a straight-up tactical call. The one before, obviously worried that that lurk had come in, but, yeah. but certainly that's twice we've seen him behind that wall, just unfortunately not able to kind of really <laughs> contend for anything. Well, leave him hanging. I thought I thought Snappy was going to leave him hanging there after uh, after the shade thrown about his haircut.
Yeah, how do you sit down next to your manager and just tore your entire haircut apart? I think they just have to re rejig the whole seating situation after the player break. Yeah, move them down. Three round lead. Ensis T side looking good. Yeah, it's looking really good. And the thing about FaZe is at least they've saved a lot, so they, still, they keep having these guns to play with consistently, and a little bit of a curveball thrown into the mix. Double aggression in middle, Rop's part of that. And now they accelerate back into A. This time it's Brokey over here, and he is also cancelled out. Doesn't hit the shot, goes into the open, and gets caught by some pyres. Rinse and repeat, hit the A site, and they've won the round again. Listen, we, we've had, we just mentioned it, we had the B simulator to start the day. We're getting the A simulator now. I quite <laughs> like it. We're, you're getting a good glimpse at both bomb sites. And some pyres is having a great game here as well. Mao is touching on, he really likes how he sort of, he finds impact as a T-sided AWPer. And on Anubis, he's having a great time with that AWP. He was a top rated player earlier in the competition. Now looking good as well. So aggression in middle for FaZe doesn't work out nearly as well as they would have liked. Good gift at the end for Rain. This time, however, can't save a third weapon, can't save the AWP, so they'll have decisions to make. Losing bonus is at 2,900. Yeah, you're expecting I, a, a... I imagine they force again. Yeah. I, I think we've got quite a bit of cash and a few yeah, players. Yeah, can get an M4, Twist can drop an M4 over. Yeah, they're going to buy again. But I mean, that's almost even painful in a way, because you've had FaZe with like three rounds in a row where due to the saving, they've had very strong buys still and not able to actually get anything done with it. Three rounds straight of full buys. Three rounds straight where Ence has been able to get into the bomb sites and get the bomb planted. And I believe the first time out taken from FaZe. Indeed it is. Roban having his say the kickoff of Anubis. But wants to figure out here for FaZe, and in particular if it's towards that A side of the map. Carrigan's bought in Aug, so let's see what he's got up his sleeve with this. I mean, I, I touched on this earlier. FaZe have shown at times through Anubis how they like to take sort of the water control outside A, right? And get out towards the bridge, out towards the boat. I haven't really seen any of that kind of aggression out of them just yet, so maybe that's something you could pull out later in this half. Yeah, potentially if things start still go wrong, obviously at this level, you know, you if you play a couple games where you're doing those kinds of takes outside the A bomb site, you want to switch it up, maybe do a game without it, maybe do a game where the aggression, as we've seen a couple of times, come from canals, come from the bridge peak. Oh, good. Nade up towards rugs. That was a decent amount of damage on Deha. All right, Rain, how good is your angle? Yikes. Another kill for some Pius. He's not slowing down at all. And that's a tough pill to have to swallow right away. You lose that risky peek from rain down through dark. You'll do that on both halves as well, T-side and CT-side. You'll try and win those fights though, and this time not going as right. Again, look at the awkward situation for FaZe though. With two flashbangs remaining for the rest of this half. Can't block off any choke points after this smoke fades. Rops playing behind it. And once again, he's pretty much all on his own. Brokey and Twist just now starting to break up the stack towards the B bomb site. But this might be where Snappy does his best work. He really leaned on this A hit a number of times. You're throwing it at him again. They can still disappear and fall back. The bomb isn't committed. Oh, that is sick from Dehai. Newly gets the second as well. It's a difficult angle to have to readjust to. And in the end, it is. Ends in a better spot here. And Carrigan's so far away. And he's got no health. He can't go for this clutch. Yeah. You're going to save. save. The AK. That's a really nice hit from Ents, obviously on the A bomb site. But meanwhile, there's a challenge in middle happening. There's a challenge at the B bomb site happening. So the defense just gets completely scattered and decimated. Damn. It's going to continue. Just uh, the Ents master class right now showing us. What a top-level Anubis looks like. How have you found the sort of developments over the months of Anubis, Jason? you like what you see? Yeah, I do. I, I mean, I like what I see out of Ents. Yeah, out of Ents. That's no, I like Anubis. I think Anubis is a fun map to play. And I mean, I think a lot of the excitement and the fun has been the fact that nobody's really known how to play it. So we've yeah. seen a lot of different approaches. And yeah, now that it's settling in a little bit, I think it still has still has a really fun element. I like I like the mid portion of the map. I think the lurking capabilities there are super interesting between the bomb sites. The B site is an interesting puzzle to try and figure out. A couple of teams of yeah, uh, nobody's nailed it yet. Yeah, no, no one's really figured it out yet. Maybe it's impossible. Maybe it's uh, impossible to figure out. 
But I mean, I I think it's I think it's fun having a map like this that seems to fe that seems to be more T sided or the T side gets a few more. It's a nice change up. It's yeah. a nice change up. Eight to three. This already ends winning this half by minimum of one, and it doesn't really look like that's going to stop. But we'll see what the changes are here for FaZe on the defense. They've got a different setup, two at Fountain this time. So Brokey and Rops will set up sort of a bait and switch play here. What's so cool about this, we've, I've mentioned it a couple times, is Enz is doing this the hard way. They've had no easy rounds. Yeah, because of the amount of saves that have kept coming in. And, oh, they tried to clear it out with the Molly. So the smoke will go down, the nade will go in. They don't know there's two players, They though. don't know yet. Uh, Rops is almost, like, begging to get killed. He, like, wants to die so that Brokey's position can be activated, but this smoke pathway that Snappy's using kind of breaks up that idea. They completely countered that exact setup really well there from Snappy. And now he's going to try and wrap around. They so deep on the fountain. Brokey's not ready, but gets himself ready in time, composes himself, and Snappy is taken off the top of the fountain. Now Deha moves his body into play. Ray and Elsewhere takes his teammate out of the round. Bomb starting to push forward towards this, really hoping that Deha can crack open one of these players in defense. But right now, this hold on A has been much better between Brokey and Rops. Yeah, a very tense hold, though. There's some Pius adding in. Are they going to realize a second player? Rops, oh, now they spot it through the wall. Good jiggle. Madden finds a push in middle. Wow. That's twist. And again, the A bomb site is lost. What a turnaround. Coming in from Anson, some Pius is again the difference maker. A great double kill. Carrigan and Rain now coming back in on this retake. There's been so many saves, Jason. You've got to at least attempt a round. And here they come. It's not going to be easy going into some Pius's AWP. He's not missing much today. And Carrigan, he will try as he might, but Sun Pius's might cannot be beaten right now. Nine and three. What a start from the Spaniard. Yeah, this is this is crazy for Manson. Look, Sun Pius gets those two kills to actually take over that eight bomb site, but I'm giving all the credit in the world over to Deha. Sliding into that position after Snappy goes down, toying with them at the pillar, keeping them boxed in, keeping them huddled behind K, keeping them nervous. Utilities run out. He keeps them primed for some Pius coming in who gets a quad kill in the round. Five rounds in a row. You see FaZe, they, they try and change it up on the CT side in the last round and hence I have a lot of answers. Snappy running in with Nerds. It's going to be a B entry onto Rain. Carrigan oh gets God. cleared out by Utility and, and FaZe, it doesn't really feel like there's a chance to fight here. This is such a beautiful game that ends this playing at the moment. FaZe can't do anything. Yeah, you're hiding behind a wall. And you're just getting killed without seeing anybody. <laughs> tenth, tenth round on the board coming in here. That's crazy. But this is kind of what <clears throat> we were expecting. The desk pointed out, you know, Anubis is clearly the pick now where in this series, if FaZe let it through, which they will, and should just pick it because they're just so much better than them on this map at the moment. Eight out of ten rounds that have been played so far, or eight out of ten round wins that events is wins. Eight of them have been bomb plants. They're they're getting access to these bomb sites whenever they want it. Their executes have been so nice to watch. A lot of different looks to them as well. But double figures on the T side already. Best case scenario now for phase is five. Unlikely. They will be able to get it based on what we've seen so far. Oh and even at Lord. the end, they get absolutely shredded. Yeah, I mean, they're going to buy in this round regardless. They would be upgrading, so not the biggest deal in the world. Timeout taken once again from FaZe. They're second as they talk things over. They could use something. Sun Pius is 16-2. and two. I, I, I haven't <laughs> seen a performance like this on the, the T's that opened in a long time. This is crazy from some Pius. It's really cool to see, you know, map. Maybe there is something to draw in conclusions based on one map. Maui might be onto something there. I'll tell you what, though, like, <laughs> this kind of performance from Entz, you just sort of, like, sit there and scratch your head to a certain degree, and you're like, how did you guys get knocked out so early in Paris? <laughs> I guess yeah, you could it do looks that with, so good. I guess you could do that with a lot of teams. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but yeah. also, I'm just sat there and I'm like, wow, really? It's because they didn't respect underdog. Hashtag respect underdog. Yeah, they did get dropped by into the breach. And NIP. That was an Alexi B masterclass against them. Okay, so there, there we figured it out. <laughs> 
Well, change in style. All five players towards the B-bomb site. Here's the turn in. Kerrigan misses the initial shot, blinded. No utility to prevent him from re-peaking, but it gives clear lines of sight over to find Rain. And now that Kerrigan's isolated, he has to back off. And once again, just, oh, oh. missed shot. Didn't expect it that close. That's my IGL right there, Snappy. Running through the smoke, getting into the op's face. Good work, Snappy, here on the double entry. Just the initial, it's just these initial thrusts from Ents are so good at finding the openings in these bomb sites so far in this game that yeah. uh, FaZe has been in like this situation where they're lined up for a retake that they know just isn't possible. Go for it. <laughs> you, suddenly suddenly, suddenly possible, yeah. suddenly possible out of that. And Twist on a nice double, and now they're running in. Madden's gonna play from dark, and they're looking for him. Time is taking Madden with a first headshot, and now the, the time is over. too far gone. The kit falls out of the hands, and so does Twist alongside the entire round itself. But uh, yeah, you're right, the explosions, it, it's too, not, too much to handle at the start of the rounds, and even then, an unlikely retake suddenly becomes possible in a very small window. I, I don't even think FaZe was really thinking about going for that. It was just like the opportunity just presented of, itself yeah. when they kept fighting. I think Ants might have just been a little overconfident in this round and gave the chance there, but still Madden's, uh, Madden's ready to handle business. Okay then. 11 to 3. And this is the buy that FaZe bring to the final round of the first half. Two for Mass. We have 41 s and MP9, and Ents, different look again, straight through mid. Yeah, San Pius calls out there's aggression in A main, so it's a quick push for Madden and Diha at middle to get to the double doors. Brokey trying to provide what support he can to Rops while that smoke seg uh, segments him off. And once again, utility is just not there for FaZe, so it's a long time. Like, that's the other part of this too at this B bomb site is like, Man, you don't have anything to block that choke point. It's got to be so uncomfortable just realizing, like, you're kind of peeking into just dry fights. And FaZe have the wrong read. They're in position to shut down middle. And the B-bomb site is, is, is lost. Unless Rain finds a mighty round out of the FAMAS. First on the D-hop. Bomb site under wraps and snappy. He only gets one. Carrigan will trade out this time, and FaZe have the advantage. They've just got to throw everything they've got at this and try and claim the fourth round of this first half. Madden stands inside of the site. Carrigan close by. Madden has now tracked him. Doesn't extend, doesn't give away his life, but Sapias is forcibly removed. Rops gets a double from Dark, and now it is just Nurts outside. Covered by the smoke, and Carrigan straight onto that defuse. It's a full 10 second stick. Nerds close to denying, but FaZe will get that fourth round. What a brilliant T side to watch in this first half from Ents. They will leave with an 11 4 scoreline. Time to see if FaZe Clan can get back into this after this break. Riding on the wave, uh, I ain't got a lot to say. Uh, Mine's heavy, give me space. Yeah. Pines ready, let me blaze. Yeah. Spend money, what a waste. Uh, times money, money pays. Yeah. You ain't ready for the eighth. She ain't ready for the eighth. Mad at savage in me back, and I'm back in it happening. Ready to blow. I remember doing deeds with Deji from the street, they left me on my own. Monk can't ask me about how I got the PR code, I leave him on my ground. Then they're ringing off my phone. Yeah. Then they're ringing off my phone. SPR. Times change, but mine's made though. I ain't got line patience. Tried then, don't light pages. Just come close, but swear that. When goes with the hair pack, never post loud, get your bear whacked in my condo where I bear cracks with a gang. Catch that for the gram, snap that for the man. These dudes do the most, no money in the hand. I ain't never 
never had to feel away. Rhyme steady and it feel the way. Occupation make it either way. Never worry cause I can. Back chat from the white gang. Took charge when it's sack man. Passport when a milestone. Make space when the bags land. This must be a daydream. Max got me the mad plan. My team never lied on. You can visit from the facts man. You riding on the waves. I ain't got a lot to say. Mine's heavy, give me space. Pine's ready, let me blaze. Spend money, what a waste, uh. Times money, money pays. Yeah. You ain't ready for the eighth. Nah. She ain't ready for the eighth. He be riding on the wave. Uh. I ain't got a lot to say. Nah. Mine's heavy, give me space. Yeah. Pine's ready, let me blaze. Spend money, what a waste, uh. Times money, money pays. Yeah. You ain't ready for the eighth. Never. She ain't ready for the eighth. Yeah. Fake clothes, same watch. Fake crep, same fuck. Fake squad, same lots. But flop, ain't what I'm on. Aim up, don't stop. We be leveling. Proceeds increase heavily. Don't need this man's energy. I be the one, be the one. I don't make a song to make a song. And the vibe is right, the mic. Let me on to the signs of light, I find it's pretty strong in the line that pick me first before I'm gone, I am Straight sicker with the work plate, syllable spin, I don't fidget when I burst straight Minimal talk when I work late, fuck what you think by my work rate Celebrate wins like a birth Three six got a mean list of the tracks You man busy sleeping when I brainstorm, it's a plan Link handy on the underground, I don't even have to ask Miss laughing with my brother now, I ain't talking about Dan Catch up when he lands, snap shot with the fan KL did a mad back soon going ham Come see how we ride out Short chain, but smile proud. Been blazed for a while now. Stay ready for the jam. He be riding on the wave. I ain't got a lot to say. Mine's heavy, give me space. Pine's ready, let me play. In the first half, and show us what a good first half looks like on the T side. I can't get over that that uh, snappy reaction, that phase of disgust. That has to be a gift now. Well, I mean, it, it should be telling that was on round one yeah. because there's no reason for him to be disgusted after that. It was just a runaway half from Entz, just complete domination on this map. They're looking so comfortable. Up 11 to 4. Let's see what their defense can look like. Let's see if FaZe can run it back. Right, here comes the pistol fight immediately towards the B side of things. And Twist. Close to it with a P250, is now holding down this angle, and Snappy is going to swing and try and fight, and fight as he might. Twist comes out on top. Nurse is covering off dark side, but Madden hasn't been checked, and they don't look for him, but he whips a lot of them, and that gives Twist a chance to trade out. What a pistol so far from the Canadian, and he is swinging, he is continuing, and Rops is now assisting. It's just d -Hub left, and FaZe have this pistol. Yeah, that, that was that was looking horrible the longer it went on. Aggression in B-Main, aggression in dark as well, but you could see FaZe creeping ever closer, and one kill just gives him the go button. Dia falls for free. Twist with a quad kill in the round. Swaps out for dualies. That's my boy. 11 to 5. Hell yeah. Does all that with a P250. Switches out to Joel Brothers. Hell yeah. Both pistols now go the way of phase. They lost the second round in the first half. Yeah, they, they didn't quite look good in that second. And there's a force buy coming up again from Ants here. So you're going to see the FAMAS come out for nerds. Oh! But that was filthy from Twist. And, and it closes it right at the end. And when Twist is having a good round... There's nothing better to watch. No, it's so clean. ASMR for your eyes. Damn. I felt that in my eyeballs. Yeah, you maybe should get that for the podcast you do. What's that? The ear microphone. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. If you all just sit around an ear. Talking into ears? Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. That could be a cool feature. No, no CS podcast has ever done it. True. We could even we could put ourselves in a hot tub for one of them. <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of sick. Maybe we should ask yourself that one line around. There's a swimming pool at the hotel. Could do that. Perfect. We could just kick everyone out for like two or three hours. <laughs> Get a couple of floats. All right. Well, this has been a very calm opening. Just past the one minute mark, Rain's gonna slide up and looks like he'll be the initial contact between the two teams. Oh, nice clear. Nerds goes down, Kerrigan's found Madden over at the A-bomb site and this defense is uh, doing nothing. Snappy finds one kill at the end. That should be about it. Bomb has been planted. Yeah, FaZe have left themselves, well, ends have kind of forced FaZe into position where they do have a lot of work to do on the T side. Obviously, the T side is more favored, so but still a lot of work to do. That's a good start. The first steps have been taken on this long road back into the game, and should be another step pretty easily taken in this one because Ants don't have money after that force buy. They look pretty calm, all things considered. Yeah, they do. 
I think it's uh, interesting, like kind of following phases and path over the last month or so where you, know, you see them out at the RMOS playing the LCQ, then having to go to Brazil and then coming back for the major. None of it was easy. Uh, and I'm sure there was the, the conversation I, from Carrigan, who even earlier in that interview preface, they had a big chat at the RMR, a big team talk about how do we fix this? Because we are in the bin at the moment. And you notice when they came back to that LCQ after the week off, they just came in with a new level of intensity. And I think after, at the major, they were saying how that level of intensity, that change-up has actually caused some problems with the communication. So I think sure. th they're probably trying to find a middle ground when it comes to, to how to bring energy to the table, but also still have clear comms. Ooh. You did. Nice tap, though. Twist and Kerrigan walking into the A bomb site. It's wide open. It's completely clear. Brokey might be in a little spot of trouble as Snappy's uh, coming in for a flank. Timing is everything, and Snappy taking his time might allow Brokey to get around the corner. Oh, initial dink, but can't clean it up. Yeah. Over on the uh, other stream as well, there's Fury of Mal's going on. How's that going? Uh, nine six half for Furia, or eight six so far. Sorry, thought that was the end. Of it. Maybe you see the future. Who knows? It's good to see Furia playing a bit better. Uh, it's been a woeful time for them. So winner of this game is guaranteed a spot in the playoffs. They play in the upper final of the group tomorrow. Uh, that upper final will be against the winner of Astralis Cloud9. The loser of this game drops down to play Team Liquid, who handled Greyhound in back-to-back -back double overtimes earlier today. Well handled. Uh, you know, you look at this game, I think you'd favor both of these teams if they drop down, perhaps, so... I'd love to just try and get to those playoffs today. Let's get through that game. And lock yourselves in and a chance to make it through. And Roki walking through middle. He's going to be assisted by that boost, that overwatch from Twist just behind him. Roki's going to take some deep mid control. There's a bit more of an advanced setup on the CT side here from Deha on A. And he's about to peek on out into the fight. Good first kill. Really important trade there from Robs. Yeah, well, now all the pressure's on Madden. Oh, the mid swing. Broki spots him. Kerrigan's close up with the Molotov. Ooh, Kerrigan jumps right through it. Did Madden hear that? Because this is quite a route. Oh, you're in trouble, Snappy, but he somehow wins it. Gun comes out just at the perfect moment. And that's going to stall FaZe's attack. And there's still so much time, so they can definitely seesaw around the map. Being a player down. And only a little bit of utility. They don't have a single smoke available. Problem too is like when 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 Ents was working between the bomb sites, like someone was ready to go at B main, right? If yeah, they shift they had, back. Yeah. And now you have twist so deep, he's at the he's at the mid. They are all gonna have to drop down and actually attack in the dark. Thirty seconds remaining, and Nerds has already spotted it out. Yeah, they know the play, and the reaction from Nerds is to take the B main control. So they obviously know how to play this situation very well. Madden's gonna come on over. Good Utah and Twist. That's actually giving them a chance. That Molly and the kill give them a small window of opportunity, but now the bomb is gone. So is Twist. No and Robs has no time to hop over, get it back, and get the bomb down, and would have to then cross the op as the first obstacle anyway, and he's not gonna pass that. So 12 to 7. And it's now four away from closing out Anubis in the first map of this best of three. And that actually comes and turns into being a big difference as well when you consider Nertz's play, or was that Sun Pius? No, Nertz, who pushed uh, B, uh, main. B main. Yeah, yeah and cleared everything out mm -hmm. and just saw, oh, I have a nice space to set up a crossfire. And I mean, if you're going to do that against Ents, someone's waiting out there for you. Uh, that's a tough fight of your own. But Nertz had the freedom. Five round lead. Ants their first round on the CT side. Oh, okay. The, okay, so Pius is just having a great time. He's confident. He goes for the mid-peak. The smoke is up. He's very quick, accurate. And that's another great opener for Ants off the back of St. Pius. That's his 20th kill of the game so far. And speed phase 16 to 8 on this map back in Paris. Yep. Could, could better that today. Phase to turn this around. In this particular round. And nothing's happening on the map right now. They're not really challenging. Oh, good shot from Brogy. Nerds goes investigating a little bit too much. And now you can see the little phase dots on the mini map start to move. They like that equalizing kill. They like the gaps it's going to create. 
And lining up to fall into a split. Too dark, too main to hit B, but Sun Pius is going to put an end to Kerrigan. And snappy. That's an easy kill for him. The MP9 is rapid to kill. And those close quarter moments. They're going to bounce away. 40 seconds. Phase is this dismantled. A, is this a save call? Yeah. They're backing away from B main. Early save call with 40 seconds, but... Nice find from Brokey. Now just three players. That might open up an option that they feel like they can go for. It. Yeah, it's, it's sketchy. It would be rough. I think they're going the long way around. If you go to A, even with, I don't even know you arrived at the door with enough time here. So, just has to be that save call. This team is not even with him. Oh my goodness! I don't they're know. Not, they're going for. They're it. really trying for this, but they're separated. And and so as soon as that bomb goes down, that's the round, and you can't get it back. Twist so is stuck in middle. He'll fade away. Um, broke his AWP, won't be there in the next round. Decent enough economic damage, though. Three kills in the round. Just can't die here. Oh, and he won't. Yeah, he will. 13 to 7, six round lead. You've kept the money low for the outside of things. Unfortunately for FaZe, they don't really have the funds to keep fighting. That was their last real buy of any kind. Yeah, that was an interesting call to go for it at the end. It seemed like they were really kind of lollygagging around, already making the decision to just keep the weapons in hand, but they made the call late to challenge at the A-bomb site. I think the worst thing that can happen to them is getting that kill in middle, because then it kind of opens up the, the small window of, yeah. oh, maybe we can do this. Your maybe brain's like, oh, wait, 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 we can still do it. There is a way. Oh, I love that aid. Really nice. Sent out towards the stairs. Twist eats a bit of it. Hmm. That smoke doesn't look particularly good towards a main, but maybe it is. No, it is. It's, it looks okay. This is going to get close to it. I just pop flash right through it here. Yeah, Diho's up on the platform behind the pillar. Madden's there in support as well. Nice Molotov to force back any kind of presence. And this is all FaZe have. See if Twist AK can deliver you something. Just gathering everybody at the smoke. And now they go. Flash set up. Running in. Is Twist with the AK. That is the main player you want to pop off here. You need him to activate with his rifle. And he hasn't been able to capitalize on that first kill and the bomb plant denied. Good swing out from Madden to deny it from happening. If the bomb goes down, a different story. Maybe with the sheer numbers still alive, FaZe can win in the post plant. They're just hoping that a couple of mistakes come in and that was too clean. Twist does get a couple, but not enough done there for FaZe to really make anything of it. In the 14th round now for Entz. Yeah, that defensive Molotov is really nice. It actually prevents anyone else from FaZe from swinging wide and covering the planter. Twist would have loved to have had his AK-47 in action to at least provide some form of support to get that bomb down, but it's not to be. And it's a nice shooting at the end of the day for Sun Pius. Entz just two rounds away from taking map one in this series. Pius went for the same opening move. This time doesn't get a chance for that kill. And FaZe, they send one player, which is Rops, outside of A, and everybody else sort of putting some pressure towards the B side of the map. Twist getting peppered down through the smoke. He's 22 health. And he will act as a, a pretty weak foundation to get Brokey elevated so he can peek down into the side on B. Brokey doesn't take his chance. In fact, he's lucky to get away with his life. And Carrigan wins the fight in middle. Some Pius goes back for a double dip, and that's what costs him. Yeah, well, he's had a hot hand. You can't really blame him for not holding himself back. That's only his ninth death. Still very passive phase on this map. Sitting back, looking for a response off the opening kill. It's not coming just yet. And Ents have shifted most of their defense over to the B bomb site. Diha is in control of A and middle. A lot of responsibility on his shoulders, but a calculated gamble. And at the moment, it's the right call. It's a lack of nades that kind of worries me about FaZe right now. Carrigan going to have to try and break through on Snappy through Dark, Madden, and Snappy. They hold. There's no issues. Ents win every single one of the fights they needed to, and that's 15. That's map point, and they are looking good to actually better their performance this time around than in Paris. What was a 16-8 victory for Ents on Anubis? This could be 16-7. Yeah, they're looking so comfortable. They're having no issues no matter what's going on on the map. Eight chances to close out Anubis. It's their map pick. And we've obviously had a good display of why.
Mac 10 Deagle and three Galils for FaZe to try and stay afloat in this map. Four players headed towards B right out of the gate. Rain, canals to dark. Oh, <laughs> Rain just walks in at the wrong time. And that Ned trickles on in towards him. Carrigan charges in the Mac 10. The battering ram gets through. Some Pius overwhelmed. And Snappy doing his best, but it's Nerds and Madden that'll come in with the brunt of the heavy lifting. Just one more kill needed on to Rain. And Ents will have confirmed victory here. The Norwegian runs back into dark. Switches to the AK instead of just the pistol. He smoked off, utility preventing him from getting anything done. And instead of running it in just letting this one play out, he wants to go all the way around. Nah, he's a warrior. He's not letting anything go. Fight for all the inches. It is a game of inches after all. But Deha, he's ready for this possibility. This has just been, uh, both sides, Ents has been so dominant. This defense, once the rifles came out, this will be their fifth round straight to close out the map. Ents with a statement victory to start the series. 16 to 7, powered by a dominant T side. Their Anubis looks strong. And FaZe going to be down 0 1 in the series. Playoffs on the line. Winner guaranteed a spot inside the arena. And we'll see if Ants can close it out in two. We'll be right back.